one point they toss bread to the, quote, shade of a hungry dog that stood yelping on the riverbank. Does every dead dog go to Hades? Why is he hungry? They said at one point that you can just imagine food. So can the dog not do that? But then also at a different point, food was being cooked in an oven, which implies a physical process. So were the ingredients imagined and then cooked? I mean, surely they weren't farmed. Surely the butter on the piece of bread that they gave that dog didn't come from the spectral teat of a phantom cow. Surely an immortal soul doesn't lactate. If the ghosts eat, do they have to expel waste later? 